longer be one. See how Jeff does what we're back at it with the longer B1 yet again. Y'all watched me use this machine here a few weeks ago. I got three new projects that I want to bust out on here for y'all. With one of them being some new paper that I've never messed with. And two others. Y'all have yet to see me try to engrave on this stuff in the shop as well. So let's jump right off into it. Now to kick things off on this first job. We got something really intricate on there. I have what's called B-Bond on here, which is pow basically powder coated aluminum. And I got a nice, nice high detailed image. Let's see how well we can make this come out. Now with this, like I said, that is some nice detail we got on this. Now, like I said, if this would have been black on here, oh, it'd pop so much more. But like I said, this is pre-powder coated aluminum. Like I said, it's me, but I use this for a lot of my signage, but I wanted to try something different. And that effect just looks pretty sweet, to be honest. When the light hits it just right, it sort of has a, a mirror finish to it a little bit. Got all the detail in there. Like I said, some boys in dialectic. Awesome band. If y'all haven't checked them out, highly recommend them. They're doing big things. Now, sometimes you might be working on a job site or something, and you're always losing gloves. So... I have some welding gloves here that I'm gonna actually engrave my logo on here. Now you can engrave your name or whatever on there, but I wanted to do something different. Might as well put my logo on there. So, once we have everything lined up, and I find my arrow, cause it's hard to find with these glasses on, we tell it to run, let's engrave some leather gloves. Just like that, bam. No mistaking these gloves aren't mine. Like I said, this material can be a little harder for it to see, see on, but it's engraved there. It's obvious who these are now. Looks a little better in person. I don't know how well it's coming in on my camera. I know it's somewhat blending in, but Always fun to engrave on leather. So on this next job, I'm actually running some paper on here. So we can try something different just to see how well it does. It's something I ain't ever done. And I thought, eh, might as well give it a shot. Now, just so y'all know how quick this thing is, like I said, this is a pretty decent sized image and we've been running right at 14, 15 minutes and there's about three minutes left on here. So these aren't just the bam, because I know there's probably a few people out there that think, man, them lasers are extremely fast. This is fast compared to some of my older ones, some of my five watts that I have. Now, it could actually be a lot faster than what it is running right now. But I am running at a low power, and I'm trying to get a little bit more detail out of this because this is some special paper on here that I'm testing out to see if I can create something different than what I'm used to creating on regular cardboard or some 
uh, powder coated metals or even aerosol metals or woods, just trying something different out. And it's always good to learn and teach yourself other stuff and to see what you can create and how to create it in that process. And there we have it. Like I said, this is some special paper meant to give a different color background on there. And like I said, there is actually a lot of fine detail. I don't know how well some of it's showing up, but you are able to see all the scales on here. And it does have a nice little texture to it, something different. I'm hoping this comes through on camera as good as it looks in person. I probably should have maybe even inverted this maybe, but it is something different. Am I 100% happy with this? No. Am I gonna keep playing with it? Oh yeah. Now the stuff I did today, it's not really too complex, but at the same time, it's showing you more and more stuff you can engrave on. A lot of people just think, oh, I can just do this. And that's about it. We did three different types of materials here. We got aluminum, powder coated aluminum. We got a new type of paper and we got some leather gloves. Like I said, and there's so much more you can engrave on this. I just wanted to show you a few little projects I wanted to play around with. Like I said, these are new materials for me to mess with. Like I said, now I've done leather before, but I wanted to see if I could actually put on the gloves and how well it would come out on a true welding glove leather. And because like I said, these, these are meant to get burned up. And so I know it would do something, but I wanted to know how clear I get that logo to come on. And as being a welder in past jobs, of course, it's been 20 years since I've done that. I know how easy it is to lose welding gloves. Now, if you're wanting one of these longer B1s, I do have a link down in the description. Like I said, Longer's not paying me this, but I do have an affiliate link that if you buy something from them, it does help me out in the process. Because like I said, that's how I make money off this is through affiliate links. And like I said, they're not paying me. The only way I make money is if you buy something by clicking my link and it's not a whole lot, but it does help the shop and it helps out my channel. Of course, the best way to help out the channel is to share this around with your friends. Hit that subscribe button and just help spread the word about Jeff Does What. Now, till next time, y'all take it easy.